record button for myself so that Aubrey can use these later on. All right, so I'm gonna get myself set up here. Okay, I apologize for any uh, mowing sounds that's going on outside right now. So if I need to speak up, let me know. Uh, but other than that, thank you for coming to class. Uh, thank you for um, taking the opportunity to work out with me. We're gonna try and do some fun things together. Um, we will obviously start with our usual warm up. Uh, and then we'll get into doing about three or four rounds of arm and leg exercises. So um, I have my weights this side, but if you have um, hand weights for arms and or legs, I'm going to try and use those. And then we're going to do some core things at the end that will be on the ground, or we can do seated. So I'm going to show all kinds of versions for modifications, but let's get going here. We've done enough talking. Let's start with a little march in place. I'm going to move my camera because I just realized that I had it set up for my last person that I was working with. So you probably can't see much of me, but that's okay because, you know, you really only need to see like uh, shoulders down. And if you want to add a few shoulder rolls as you're doing this, you can do that as well. Ah, the joys of getting everything set up, you know, beforehand. Three, two, one, and relax. All right. So I'm going to turn my head side to side, right to left, left to right. Looking side mirror to side mirror. Three, two, one, and relax. I'm going to keep moving my head side to side, but doing a tilt. So ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. So it doesn't have to be a big range. It can be a very small range because there's definitely you know, some tightness there. If you feel you know, the Rice Krispies, you know, snap, crackle, and pop, you know, hopefully it's a, a good pop and not a bad pop. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, so I'm going to do arm circles. So I'm just going to do arm circles in one direction. You can make them as big as you want or whatever feels comfortable. Maybe it's a little bit lower. Maybe it's a little bit higher, depending on how the shoulder feels. Three, two, one. And I'm going to switch directions. Okay. Three, two, one. And relax. I'm going to switch sides here. So my other arm doing some arm circles. There we go. Nice. Looking good, everybody. Three, two, one. Switching direction. Three, two, one. One and relax. I'm going to go into X's and Y's. So start with my arms like they're across like an X and then opening up to a Y. All right. Again, go at your own pace. Make sure you're breathing in, breathing out. Getting some nice movement there for the whole body, especially the arms with this one. I'm going to do a couple more of these here. That's it. Let's do one more and relax. All right. Torso twist. I'm going to have my arms out in front of me doing a twist. If you don't feel comfortable with that back going, that range of motion, you always just move the arms side to side and then engage that core to hold that body still. If you feel good, go the range of motion that feels good for the back this afternoon. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, so I'm gonna do a few kickbacks here. So pretend like I'm kicking my backside. This is enough, stay there. If you wanna do a little more, if you wanna do a little row with each kickback, you can. It's all up to you. I know, trying to stay coordinated here, moving the upper body and the lower right at the same time. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, so I'm gonna have my right foot out in front, my toes up, I'm gonna have my arms to the side. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna swing my weight forward and back, forward and back. You can see my toes come up just there at the very, very bottom of the screen for you. But I am coming back, lifting those toes up. All right, I'm gonna do a couple more here. And on my last one here, I'm gonna hold back my toes up. Three, two, one, and relax. Switching sides here, so now my left foot, toes are up. And again, I'm just gonna swing my weight forward and back. Forward and back. Coming up on my heels, if that feels good. I'm gonna do a couple more. Again, on that last one, I'm gonna hold those toes up for three, two, one, and relax. All right hip flexor. So I'm going to step forward with my right foot, reach over with my left arm. If that doesn't feel good to reach over. You know, it's reach more across, but what I'm trying to do is get a stretch there in the front of my left hip. You don't have to step as far as I'm stepping forward, but just a little step forward and then trying to extend that front of the hip. I'm going to do two more here. On my last one, I'm going to hold it for three, two, one, and relax. Switch sides here. So my left foot stepping forward, reaching over with my right arm or reaching across and try and get a nice stretch there in front of the right hip flexor. I'm gonna do a couple more. Um, my last one, I'm gonna hold it for three, two, one, and relax. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is grapevine. So I'm gonna bring one foot over and then under, 
and repeating. If you have more room than I do, you can keep going across with the grapevine as long as you like. But we're gonna go here for about 20 seconds, just doing our grapevine, moving those hips around, stepping over and then under with one foot, and the same thing the other way. Three, two, one, and relax. All right. I'm gonna do side jacks. I'm going to step the side, arms up overhead. If the arms are a little sore today, you wanna to do a cross with the arms, you can do that. Either way, we're doing a side jack here. If you need to do more, you wanna do the full jumping jack and you wanna jump in between each one, you can do that as well. I'm not gonna stop you today. It's a great day to get a workout in. Three, two, one, and relax. All right. I'm gonna step forward and I'm gonna lift my arms up. So I'm gonna step forward, arms up, push off. Step forward with my other foot, pushing off. If you wanna go a little bit deeper, you can, a little bit more into a lunge if you like, or you can stick with that step forward. It's all up to you. But I'm trying to keep my weight in the middle of that foot that I'm stepping forward with and pushing off. There we go. I'm gonna do one more here and relax. All right, we got two more here for the warm up. I like to do a couple of extra to keep the heart rate going here before I demonstrate the exercises. So let's do high knees. So I'm just getting those knees up, getting those arms moving. So the whole body getting going. If you wanna go faster, you can. If you want a little hop, you can. You can stick with whatever feels good to get that heart body moving here. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right, last one here, hot feet. Pretend like the floor is lava. So I'm gonna quickly go from foot to foot for about 10 seconds here in three, two, one, go. So hot lava, hot lava, moving my feet. If you want quicker, you can go quicker. It's all up to you. We're just doing 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. <sighs> all right, so. What we have are five exercises, um, some that will use weight, some that will not. Um, I realized after I put together the workout that I did a couple of these exercises before, but hey, it's never a bad thing to do, things that we know and love, right? So um, the first one is actually doing a push-up, which you can do push-up from the floor, you can do from an elevated surface, um, and you can do from against the, the wall. If you're doing it against the floor, you can do it from knees or from, uh, from feet. Um, so that's the first exercise. So let's just start off that. I know the first round is usually a little ugly. Um, so let's, let's just go right into it, get moving, and then I'll describe the next exercise. So we're gonna try and do this for about 40 seconds here. So pace yourself. Here we go. 40 seconds of doing some push up in three, two, one, go. So I'm just gonna do a little push up here. If you wanna do it from your feet, if you wanna do it from your knees, whatever's gonna challenge you. I have my hands at about where my armpits would be, and that's where my hands should end up. So if you're doing from the wall, you might need to have your hands a little bit lower than shoulder level so that you end up with those hands about around armpit level. I'm allowing my body to fall into the floor or into the wall. Okay, and I'm using my chest muscles and my triceps, those muscles in the back part of my upper arm to move, to move myself and relax. 20 seconds off, okay. Second one. Second one is sit to stand or squat or lateral uh, leg lift. So you can do this one with or without weight. If you're doing sit to stand, You've got a seat, you're gonna come down, sit, and then use those legs to come back up. Um, if you need a little bit more challenge, you can do a little hop, or a little, a little bop, I should say, um, with the butt, hitting the, the chair. Um, if you feel more comfortable just doing a squat and you don't wanna go as low, you can do that. Or if you feel a bit more comfortable, maybe doing like a little lateral leg lift, or maybe doing like in and out, in and out and really focusing in on using those hips to make that movement. So do your form, that's gonna challenge you the most. We're trying to work on these hips here. So let's start with sit to stand or your form in three, two, one, go. So this is probably a little, a little low. 
So we'll see how long I can last doing a sit and stand from a stool. But make sure when you're coming up, don't allow that, that chest to dip. Keep that chest up. Use those glutes to lift yourself up. Push through those heels to get yourself up here. So you've got to use all these muscles around here to keep that chest from dipping down. All right. Keep going here. Three, two, one, and relax. About 20 seconds off. We're gonna to switch to an arm exercise. I like to go back and forth between arms and legs. That means you get a little breather now for your legs as you work your arms. So that's well, gonna be the T raise and a shoulder press. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a T raise where I lift my arms up to the side. I'm gonna come in and then I'm gonna press up overhead, okay? Now, if you don't feel comfortable with lifting up overhead, I want you to T raise and then press straight out ahead. And maybe if it's a little bit much, even that on the shoulders, just pressing down and back up, okay? So we're gonna try and do T raise and shoulder press at the same time. Back and forth, back and forth. Here in three, two, one, go. So T raise, shoulder press. If you need to, you can have those feet about hip width apart or shoulder width apart, knees bent, little, little dip in there. Engage that core as we're doing this. You notice I'm keeping those arms straight. And if you can't lift up to the shoulders uh, for the T raise, maybe as high as you can where you keep those arms straight. And then with the shoulder press, I make sure that those elbows are going straight ahead, parallel in front of me. Three, two, one, and relax. About 20 seconds off here. And um, what we're gonna do next is mountain climber. Uh, mountain climber you can do from floor, elevated surface, wall. Well, this is not a wall, but I'm calling this my wall today. Um, mountain climber. So what I'm do, I'm going to try and drive my knee straight in. All right, and you can go nice and comfortable this way. If you wanna go quicker, you can go quicker, but we are gonna try and go for 40 seconds here, okay? Let's try this out here. 40 seconds of mountain climb in. Three, two, one, go. So if you want nice and controlled, making sure you're driving that knee straight ahead each time, whether from the wall, I'm trying to kind of put my weight in this. I'm trying not to in actuality. If I do, I might push this through the window, but you do have your, your weight into the wall and you lift those knees up. All right. I'm just going back and forth between the, the versions. So don't allow that, that leg to start coming out. Keep it going straight ahead. Three, two, one, and relax. All right. We got one more arm exercise. Then we're gonna try and repeat that round here. You will need one arm weight. So I have, for mirror purposes, let's say I have my weight in the right hand here. My left foot is forward. What I'm gonna do, I'm going to twist my upper body, twisting across, passing across, and then I'm gonna twist all the way back around me, passing the weight behind me. So I twist, pass the weight across, twist, pass the weight behind. I try to keep my heels down, but if you don't, that's okay. Uh, if you feel a bit more comfortable having the feet a little bit closer to one another, you can. But it's passing across and then behind. So it's a little bit of a core and arm exercise. So let's try this out here. We're gonna do one side for 20 seconds and then we'll switch sides. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. So I'm passing across and then passing behind. If you wanna work on power, you go slow and then quick on the pass out slow, quick on the pass out. So each time you're about to pass the weight to someone across from you and then behind you, three, two, one. We're gonna switch sides here. So now I got the weight in my left hand, right leg forward, and just going right into it, okay? Again, I try to keep my heels down on the ground, that front knee a little bent. So that's where the challenge is, trying to keep that back heel down as I'm doing it. Three, two, one, and relax. Whew. Let's take about 30 seconds off here and then we'll start up round two. If you need a little bit of water. Uh, round two, we start back up with push up. If 
depending on time, we'll see if we do three or four rounds. We'll see how, how lucky we are today, right? <sighs> okay. So again, we're gonna start with push-ups. We're gonna go 40 seconds, then 20 seconds rest. Now that we know some of these exercises, I don't have to explain for as long. So let's get going here with our push-up. So get your spot where you need to be for push-up for 40 seconds here. In three, two, one, go. Again, I'm allowing my body to dip down, trying to keep that body straight from shoulder to knee or shoulder to foot, using those arms and those chest muscles to push myself away from the wall or the floor, okay? Going halfway through, keep pushing, keep going. Go ahead and take a look. Keep going, David. Keep going, Diane. That's it, Dara, nice. Keep pushing, Rosenda. That's it, Debbie. You're looking great here. Three, two, one, and relax. 20 seconds off, and then we do sit to stand or your version of sit to stand, whether it's squat or lateral leg lift or moving those feet in and out. All right. I'm gonna go without, without weight this time as I demonstrate, mostly because this thing is so low to the ground. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. So again, if you want to, you can do a full sit, or if you feel like you wanna do a little bop, if you wanna do a squat, whatever feels good, Keep that chest high, all right? That's what I care about. Nice, looking good. That's it, sticking those glutes back. Nice, looking good, looking good. Keep pushing, keep going. More than halfway through, I'm loving it. Nice, that's it. Looking good, David. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one, and relax. Take 20 seconds off. I'm gonna grab my weights for arms. We're gonna do T-raise and shoulder press. Now, if you feel like you need a little bit more of a challenge, you can always do this kneeling, but you don't have to do it just on my part. But if you do need a little bit more work trying to hold your body still as you're doing this, you can do this kneeling. Here we go. Three, two, one. T-raise, shoulder press. Nice. And if you are doing kneeling at some point in the future, you really want to challenge yourself also and close those eyes. Let me tell you, that, that'll, that'll really throw you off, right? Nice. Keep pushing, keep going. Looking great here. 10 more seconds. Loving it. Nice. Don't stop until I tell you. Three, two, one, and relax. 20 seconds off, and then mountain climber, driving that knee into the chest. <sighs> You're wearing me out, everybody. I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. All right, here we go. Mountain climb, and three, two, one, go. I'm not even doing the whole workout, so I'm watching you, and I'm, I'm feeling good. Keep pushing, keep going, driving that knee up into that chest. If you want to go quicker, you can. It's all up to you. That's it. Looking good, looking good. I'm going to switch over here. I want to see the other half. Nice. Keep going, Vicky. Keep going, Tama. Ten more seconds. Doing great. Loving it. Three, two. One, and relax, 20 seconds off. All right, second round where we do that open and close stand. So again, one weight, one foot out in front, so the opposite hand weight combination, passing the weight across and behind. We're gonna do one side for 20 seconds, then the other side, here we go. In three, two, one, go. So again, passing across, passing behind, if you need a little bit more of a challenge, you gotta keep that front knee bent. That's where the challenge is. So where I keep my weight into that front knee with my heels down on the ground. I'm going a little bit slower in between each one. Three, two, one, and switch sides here. That's what happens when you try and look at the time, look at all of your lovely 
movements right now, encouraging you, and then doing the thing, it, the exercise itself. That's it, nice. Three, two, one, and relax. Let's take about 40 seconds off here. I think I'm gonna grab a little bit of water myself. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're doing great on time. Oh, oh, might get two more rounds in. You're so lucky. You really are. It's a great opportunity to get some, some more reps in. All right. Let's see, where are we at the top? At the top is the push up. I'm just getting things set up. So I have space here. All right. So let's do our push up in the challenging position that it is for you. About 40 seconds on here. Here we go. Round three in three, two, one, go. Keep engaging that core, pushing that belly into the back but still be able to breathe in and out nice and comfortably. If you need a breathing pattern, I breathe in on the way down, breathe out on the way up, okay? Nice, keep it going. What else do I see on there? Rosenda, keep going, keep pushing, I love it. Less than 10 seconds to go, doing great here. Nice, don't stop. Three, two, one, and relax. 20 seconds off, and then sit to stand. All right, here we go with the sit to stand. Wherever you're starting, standing or sitting, three, two, one, go. Nice. Nice, Debbie, I like that. And that, that little arm movement in there. And some extra reps for the arms. I like it. Keep pushing. Yes, Tama. There we go. There we go. Keep going. Keep going. Nice, Vicky. Keep pushing. Don't stop. This is it. It's a way to get the day going. Morning, noon, or night. Right? Keep pushing. Get a couple more in here. I'm going to try and finish strong here on this round. Three, two, one. And relax, 20 seconds off. Coming back to doing that T raise and shoulder press. All right, here we go. T raise, shoulder press, three, two, one, go. So again, T raise, shoulder press. And if you want, again, that power, you can go slow on the way down, quick on the way up, slow, quick. It's all up to you. But if you feel like you just need a little bit more, or you're not feeling comfortable doing a kneeling version, just add that little bit of power push on the way up, T-raise push on the way up. 10 more seconds here. Nice, Vicky. Keep it going. Keep it going. Three, two. One, and relax, 20 seconds off, and then we do mountain climb. Find your spot, floor, elevated surface, or the wall for a mountain climb, driving those knees into the chest. Here we go, three, two, one, go. So keeping that knee straight ahead. If you need nice and control one at a time, if you want it to go a little bit quicker, and so there's that brief moment where both feet are off the ground, you can do that. As long as you're being safe here, getting that heart rate going. Keep pushing with the mountain climb, more than halfway through. Keep getting those knees up into the chest. Keep pushing, keep going, nice. Loving it, that's it. There we go, Dara. Three, two, one, and relax, 20 seconds off. And we'll do that open and close movement. 
passing the weight across, passing the weight behind. All right, so again, weight in the right hand, left foot forward, three, two, one, passing across, passing behind. Try to keep that weight in that front knee, trying to keep those heels down. These are just things that I add. If, you've, if you feel like you need to have like less bend in that front knee, or if you feel like that, that back heel is coming up a little bit, that's fine. But these are things that you can add in the challenge. Three, two, one, switching sides. So left hand, right foot forward. Nice, looking good, everybody. Got less than 10 seconds here. Keep going. No quit here. Three, two, one, and relax. Oh, 30 seconds off. I think we're gonna try and do a speed round. We're still gonna have the same amount of rest, but we'll do a little less work on this last round, round four. We'll do about 30 seconds in total. So we'll do one more round. We'll kind of speed through it. That's what you wanna hear, right? Uh, round four, again, we'll do, starting with the push up. We'll only do 30 seconds this time. We'll still keep at least 20 seconds of rest in between. So I'm not cutting you short on the rest. Never cut you short on the rest. All right. Let's do the push up one more time for round four here. In three, two, one, go. This is for all the marbles. This is for everything. Because after this round, we'll switch up the exercises. Keep pushing, keep going. Nice, looking good, Rosenda. Yeah, Tama, keep pushing. Looking great here. I'm gonna check out my other groups. That's it, Diane. Don't stop, three, two, one, and relax. About 20, 30 seconds off here. And sit the stand, or your form of sit the stand. All right, here we go in three, two, one, go. Get into the stand or squat or moving those legs in and out, lateral leg lifts, whatever is going to work on the hips here. Keep pushing, keep going. We got less than 10 seconds here. Three, Two, one, and relax, 20 seconds off. Then we do T raise and shoulder press. All right, T raise and shoulder press in three, two, one, go. So again, T raise, shoulder press. Make sure not to use that back to swing into anything. Hold that back still. If you need those feet about shorter width apart, knees bent, engage that core. So we don't wanna feel that stress in the back. We wanna feel the stress in our shoulders and maybe a little bit in our upper back as we're working here. Three, two, one, and relax. 20 seconds off and then mountain climb. Mountain climb, starting it up in three, two, one, go. Driving those knees up into the chest or as high that feels challenging for you. Getting those legs moving, holding the rest of my body still as I'm moving those legs up. Three, two, one, and relax. 20 seconds off. And we got one more open and close stand. We'll do about 15 seconds on each side here. All right, so weight in my right hand, left foot forward. Here we go, three, two, one. Passing the weight across, passing the weight behind. 
So using that torso to do the twist, hold my body still, and then pass that weight out, extending that arm. Three, two, one, switching sides. Go right into it when you get those feet and weights in the proper location. Nice. Three, two, one, and relax. Take about a minute off here. Now give me a chance to set things up. Uh, we'll be on the ground or you can do this seated. I'll show both forms as usual. Let's see, what do I have on my list here? Okay. All right, so the first one that we're doing, um, it'll be a reverse crunch. So if you're on the ground, it'll be on your back. I'm gonna make sure that I'm in the right space so you can see me. Now I gotta adjust the camera just a little bit so you can see me. A little bit more down here, okay. So you can have your hands in the small of the back or hands underneath the glutes, whatever's feeling good. You're gonna try and bring the knees in and nice control on the way out. Tap and bring the knees in, okay? If you're doing a seated version, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your legs out in front. And you're gonna bring one knee in, nice control on the way out, in, nice control on the way out. All right, so you still gotta fight gravity to bring that leg back down towards the ground. So we're gonna try and do 30 seconds of a reverse crunch, seated or on our back here. All right, let's try this out here. Three, two, one, and begin. Bring those knees in. And out. Now, if you want to go at you know your comfortable pace, go at your comfortable pace. If you need a bit more of a challenge, just slow on the way out, quick on the way in. Okay, if you need that add a little bit of challenge as we're doing this. Less than 10 seconds to go here. Three, two, one, and relax. Take about 20 seconds off and we'll do it again. You didn't think we'd do it just one time. I do it multiple times, right? Test the body. You're all looking great here. Looking good. I like it. Let's do one more round here. Same thing. Three, two, one. Again, driving those knees in slow on the way out and back in. See how low you can bring those feet. If you really want to challenge you, try and get as low as you can without quite tapping the ground. If you needed that added bit of work for yourself, keep pushing here, keep going. A little bit more for me. Three, two, one, and relax. 20 seconds off here, about 30 seconds. I'll give me time to show the next exercise. Uh, still on your back. Uh, opposite knee to opposite elbow. So I'll be here a little angled so you can see what's going on. Hopefully at the right angle. How about this angle? This might be a little bit better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and bring opposite knee to opposite elbow back and forth at your own comfortable pace, okay? You can do the same seated, nothing different. You're still trying to bring opposite knee to opposite elbow, using that torso, that core, to make the movement. So I'm not using my arms. My body is moving and my arms go along for the ride. So we're gonna try and do 30 seconds here. Opposite knee to opposite elbow here. In three, two, one, go. And again, you can go at your pace, it feels good. And if you're like, oh man, I could do this all day. And just go a little bit slower. And if you start to feel it in the low back, what I do is I lift my shoulders up just a little bit off the ground to keep them off the ground. That forces my belly towards the floor to protect the lower back as I do this. Three, two, one, and relax. Take about 20 seconds off here. We'll do it again. Think about it, you're on your back, you know, on the floor, relax. It's the best position to be, right? And we can do our, all of our core stuff here all at the same time. 
All right, one more round of knee to elbow in three, two, one, go. And of course, make sure to keep breathing in, breathe out. That's it, Dara, keep pushing, keep going. Nice, Diane, loving it. Nice, Rosenda, keep pushing, Debbie. You got it, Vicky. Tama, let's go. A little bit more. Good, David. I think I got everybody right. Pushing everybody here. Three, two, one, and relax. Take about 30 seconds off here. And we got one more exercise here. Uh, after all that stuff that we've done on our back, I'm gonna make us get up and do plank. So plank, you can do in any form you want. Um, you can do from floor or from an elevated surface or from the wall. Um, here, you can have it from hands and feet, elbows and feet, elbows and knees, hands and knees, or the same thing with the plank against the wall, either with hands or elbows. All I care about is that you are straight from shoulders down to either your knees or your feet. So you got to use your core to engage yourself. If you're not feeling it from the wall or from something like that, um, step your feet a little bit back further, and then you got to really keep that body held still. So we're going to try and do 30 seconds here, one time, and then we're going to stretch after this. So I want to make sure we have enough time for stretching. So find your form of plank, engage that core as we do this. Keep breathing though. Here it starts in three, two, one, and begin. So plank, what I think about, I try to think of my body straight across. So a lot of times I'll notice people like their hips are too high and most likely your hips are too high right now. So if you want to kind of like lower those hips just a little bit, so you flatten your body down, okay? Keep breathing, keep engaging that core, that belly button towards the back. You can do this. I believe in you. We made this far, right? We can finish strong. Three, two, one, and relax. Ah, we did it. Okay, so I'm going to be on my back. I'm also going to demonstrate stretches that we can do uh, seated. So if you're on your back, bring one knee in. Um, the other leg can be straight or bent, it's up to you. I usually have it straight. And then if you feel good and you want to bring that leg in towards the center of the body, you can. Same thing done, seated. One leg straight and then bring one leg in. And just kind of bring that leg across the body so that my knee is about the center of my body. But you don't have to, it's just the idea of bringing that knee in. It's gonna change that stretch just a little bit there in the hip. So it's your chance to breathe in, breathe out, reconnect with the body. I feel like you're trying to lengthen the spine as you're doing this. Three, two, one, and relax. I'm gonna switch sides here. So my other knee is now bent. You can leave it like this, or if you want to bring the knee just a little in towards the center of the body, you just change the stretch just a little bit. All I care about, feeling good with the stretch, feeling it here and not in the rest of the body. Allowing those lungs to take in the air and then expel it out. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, so I'm gonna bring my right leg up and over my left knee. You can either stay here, you can push the right leg away or lift the left leg up off the ground. You can do the same thing seated and the right leg up and over and then just pushing against the leg with my arm. I'm not necessarily like forcing it because then you're gonna put too much in the shoulder. I'm just allowing gravity to work its way in. Okay, either form, again, breathe in, breathe out. Should feel a stretch there along the outside of the hip. Specifically, if you have your right leg up and over, you should feel it in the right hip on the outside.
three, two, one, and relax. Let's switch sides here. So left leg up and over. You can either push the leg away or lift the opposite leg up off the ground. Or if you're feeling really good and you want to do both, you can do both. Now, thank you everyone for making it to class today. I appreciate it. it. Gets me a chance to get a workout in all with you. We're all working here together. We're all sweating together. And relax. All right, so on the ground, I'm gonna keep my left leg straight. I'm gonna bend that right knee, bring the right leg up and across the body. Keep my shoulders flat on the ground. Use that left hand to hold the leg in place or extend the stretch further. And then if you are on the seat, if you want to, you can either cross the legs over and twist towards one side. So what I did was I brought my right leg up and over and then I twisted towards the right side. And if you want to, you can use that elbow to twist in. If this is a little bit much, I always kind of like twist towards the back of the chair, uh, towards the right. Again, I'm trying to get a nice stretch there for my back. Three, two, one, and relax. Let's do the same thing for the other side. So bend the left leg up and over, bring it over towards the right side, use the right hand to hold in place or extend that stretch while keeping the shoulders flat along the ground. Or if you're seated, either twisting towards the left and holding, but don't like feel like you're forcing it, just holding there so you can stretch out these muscles or bring the left leg up and over and twist towards the left either are acceptable and are trying to stretch the lower back into the glutes, into the hips. Three, two, one, and relax. All right, so uh, I'm gonna set up here just so you can see me as we're doing it, but you don't have to necessarily set up for this exercise. I'm gonna take my right arm and we'll bring my right arm across the body, hold in with the left to get a nice stretch there for the right shoulder, breathing in, breathing out. Trying to sit tall or stand tall or wherever you are right now. Three, two, one, and relax. I'm gonna take my left arm across, hold it in with my right. Three, two, one, and relax. Now if this feels good, do it. If not, don't worry about it. This is a tricep stretch, so this is optional. I'm gonna pat myself on the back with the right hand. If that's good, stay there. If you want more, you can bring that elbow closer to the head. Three, two, one, and relax. I'm gonna take my left hand, pat myself on the back. If this is enough, stay there. If you want more, bring that elbow closer to the head. I'm trying to get that stretch in the back part of my upper arm, that tricep that we definitely worked today. Three, two, one, and relax. Last stretch here to finish it off right. Shoulder rolls, when I breathe in, my shoulders go up. I'm gonna breathe out, my shoulders go down. So breathing in and out, in and out, in and out. One more here, in and out and relax. And you are done. Good work, everyone. Great way to get some energy out, get some movement today. So thank you, everybody. Keep it up. Keep working hard. If you need to do some more stretching, do some more stretching after this. Um...